Welcome back to Fanatical Finance. If you're viewing for the first time, I make finance and business related content to help you understand and learn. In this video, I'll just be going over some motivational and interesting books to read if you enjoy business. Enough said, let's get started. Number 1. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert T. Kiyosaki The book Rich Dad Poor Dad is about Robert Kiyosaki and two dads, his real father, the poor dad, and his best friend's dad, the rich dad and the ways that both dads shaped his thoughts about saving money and investing. One of the main ideas of the book is, the poor and the middle class work for money, while the rich have money work for them. Number 2. Blue Ocean Strategy This book is a little tricky to understand, but the way the author summarized the book is, that the Blue Ocean Strategy is a pursuit of differentiation and low cost to open up a new market space and create new demand. The strategy is all about creating and capturing uncontested market space, therefore making any competition irrelevant. To number 3, The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber. The book explains why around 80% of small businesses end up failing and how to ensure your business isn't in the 80%. Gerber explains that you should build a company that's based on systems and not on the complete work of an individual. Number 4, The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. The Lean Startup method teaches you how to drive a startup. A key method is learning about what your customers really want and learning it quickly. It's all about continuous testing and adapting based on results. Number 5, The Richest Man in Babylon is a book from 1926 written by George Samuel Claston. This inspirational book gives common financial advice which you can still apply today but is told through tales and parables from ancient times in Babylon. Book number 6 is The Millionaire Fastlane by M.J. DeMarco. The book points out what's wrong with the traditional way of life, such as getting into a good college, getting a degree, getting a well-paid job, and working hard until you retire. Well, DeMarco opens up a new path to retire young and rich. The seventh book is a 10 time rule by the real estate guru, Grant Cardone. His book is based on the idea that you should figure out what you want to do and what goal you have and multiply the time and effort it will take by 10. This way, you have a more accurate idea of how much time and effort this goal or idea of yours will take. Number 8 is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is another old book as it was published in 1937, but its morals still apply today. The premise of the book is simple compared to others. If we want to get rich, we must first change our mind so that we become money conscious as Hill calls it. He writes that to become rich, we must first think and act as we are already rich. Number 9 is A 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. The book is a simple step-by-step -step blueprint to free yourself from your 9-to-5 corporate job by creating a business to fund the lifestyle of your dreams and live life like a millionaire without actually having to be one. Last but not least, we have Rework by Jason Fried and David Hansen. The book shows you a better, faster, and easier way to succeed in business and tells you which steps to avoid. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be great. Also, if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Comment down any future video suggestions. I will have all the links for the books provided in the description if you would like to check them out. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.